So natural drying means that it takes a little bit more time for them to produce the coffee. But what they're doing is they're drying the coffee bean in its fruit. In its fruit. In the fruit. Normally you would remove the fruit. Remove the fruit and then it allows the bean to dry much faster. Yes. But it takes away from what the coffee can give itself. Yeah. It's like a manapua when you... <laughs> yeah! So, they, they, what we do is we ask them to natural dry it and then they, they go through a dry husking process. So the whole thing dries as a solid uh, fruit and then they go ahead and put it through an industrial, you know, and all it does is use the weight of the coffee itself to smash the beans and then it sloughs off all of the dry fruit. Oh. Yeah. That taste, that pruny, uh, coffee fruit taste ends up back on the oh, coffee bean. It's trying to yeah, and the sweetness that comes with it, because again, we're only fooling the sinus, huh. right? Yeah. Yeah. We're only fooling the sinus mm -hmm. into tasting something. Yeah. So the moment we're able to give it a little bit more fruity taste, smell translates to the tongue. It makes sense. Yeah. I never thought about that. And that's the way we buy most of our local coffees, if it's available. 